Rogue's Eye, or The, The Rogue's Eye, by Paul Jeffries, although he's got a middle name, and I do not know what it is, so I'm going to pretend it's Norton. No, that would, that would be mean. I don't, well, I don't know. Do you, do you like Norton as a middle name, Mr. Jeffries? Anyway, hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013, and this one is called Rogue's Eye, and it is looking pretty cool. I was going to make a joke about how we're playing Dungeon Hack, but I don't know if enough of you would get that, so let's get that out of the way. Um, there is a little, on the website, a little excerpt that explains kind of the backstory, if you will. What's how the original Rogue just kind of wrote something? It is said that in the deepest depths of the dungeon, there lies the fabled jewel known as the Rogue's Eye, which will bring fortune and glory to any who possesses it. But those who seek it should beware. Many perils lie between the stone and the surface world, not least of which is its sworn guardian, the dreaded Black Knight. Like from Monty Python, so. We gotta watch out in case his arms and legs fall off. He's gonna still try to bite our ankles off. Um, hmm. Can I, like, press... Let me see... Con controls... Are, okay, so I guess I can still use... Uh, wa Qui, quizazd, quiz, quizazd, because that's Q W E A S D. Quizazd. All right, cool. I mean, look at this. This is this is very. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. This is the um, <laughs> this is the seven day roguelike challenge version. So we don't quite have that right now. Can I just? All right. So here we go. Here, is this? Oh, that's pause. Okay, that's cool. I, I can dig it. I'm guessing just pressing up will attack. All right, cool. Very cool. Wow, that was neat. And also, a bird made a noise outside, which coincided with that very destruction of the bat. Orange potion. Can I... Okay, first aid kit. So that's cool. It just shows this stuff. Now, I'm just going to say this right away. This is... At least, uh, in so much as a roguelike that still uses roughly the same elements as roguelikes do. Oh, cool! Found a healing. Although it's probably uh, probably one time use, so I just wasted it. Um, but regarding just standard roguelike controls, this is probably for the 3D games, the 3D first-person perspective games, um, the best interface I've seen. Um, if only because you can you can kind of play it just totally with the mouse. I'm assuming you can still play it roughly with um, with the buttons of keyboard entirely. Maybe even if you can't, the only controls you really have to know are the WASD and the QE. Uh, and the QE only works in the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. But interestingly, wait. Yeah, okay. So WASD moves up, down, left, right, but arrow keys left and right actually turn you, which is weird, but, you know, whatever. That's that's why I'm just going to be using the arrows for the time being. Um, just the clickies. The clickies. Ah, oh, darn bat. No, not cool, bra. Oh, and the door closes behind me. Does it say that it closes? No. Well, let's just... One, two, three, four. Okay, so four. And I think it looks like, yeah, okay, for one, we have regeneration, so that's rather kind of the game. Um, and for two Uzis, we have a Warhammer. Let's just equip that. <clears throat> uh, that's dagger plus one. And I don't even know what these mean. A is like 2d6. A. Attack? What's, what's D then? I assume... A lot of assumptions in this game. Uh, the T stands for throws the throw damage, basically. And you would expect a hammer not to... Well, I don't know. I guess you would expect a hammer not to really hurt that much. Does that... Yeah, it doesn't work again. Oh, well. And we have the compass to tell us which way is north and which way is south. Even though we also have a map to... Well, I guess the map doesn't really tell us. No, it doesn't. So there we go. <laughs> Look at me being silly beans. Go ahead and fight this bat. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that's cool. I'm wondering whether or not the hammer has less accuracy. Oh, it's a hammer plus one. Very nice. Very nice. I was lucky to get that, I'm guessing. And that's the stairs that I started at. 
because I'm trying to go down and not up. You know, this really, well, other than reminding me of Dungeon Hack, this very much reminds me of, uh, that's cool. So, you can't really see the stairs, but, I mean, it just tells you, these are the downstairs. This is not just the, uh, the whiskey closet where we keep all of our whiskey. Anyway, let's go down. <laughs> uh, and we got another Warhammer. I guess we're gonna try try equipping this one until it actually tells us uh, how good or bad it is. And fight this! Oh, that's spider! And I have been webbed, which probably means I can't move. Yes, I was I was correct against that. All right, so there there we go. Managed to break free of the cobwebs, and the interface there is pretty nice. It's just you know, it just happens, and and there we go. Giant rats are better than bats. This is a little expected because they're not giant bats. They're just they're just rats. Or they're just bats. Even though they're kind of like rats. Ow, spider. Alright. I will use potions eventually. Just, you know. I'll do it eventually, I swear. I just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not, I don't, not really in a situation where I absolutely need to yet. So. <laughs> you know, sometimes this is weird. These two areas look almost exactly the same other than this spot right here. But it's very difficult to tell um, where you are. Of course this is a consequence of the particular way that the interface is even working uh, which is to say that there is no kind of smooth movement between directions and whatnot which is okay. Um, it's really just kind of emulating the old style of dungeon hack you know. Oh I didn't get webbed that time that was cool. That was very cool. And now we get to go on more stairs and see how far we can get and such. So, yes siree Bob. Um, or Paul, I guess, because that's the name of the dude that made the game. Uh, where are we going and why are we getting there? And I guess there's no point in killing things, is there? I'm not leveling up. Oh, right, I'm not leveling up. Also, what is this peckish? I guess you can get hungry in this game. Um, okay, let's try to use the map to figure out where we should go. All right, and one more. There we go. All right, fighting those rats until they have been juiced. Not really sure. So if I do this, yeah, okay, that worked fine. But of course I'm webbed. No, I'm not webbed. I guess the spider does a web. T I never used this last time, did I? Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, okay. So it was still a plus one. So I didn't use the smithing last time. But whatever, just it's cool. Oh, I'm hungry. I should probably just use it. And now I am okay. And maybe the hunger. Oh, I'm already peckish again. Yeesh! This guy is insatiable. Also, I'm very close to dying. Uh, is, uh that's bad because one of these potions could very well be poison. Um, um, um yeah. Wasn't I regenerating before though? I feel like. I am not regenerating anymore. And I don't know. Ah, oh, crap, skis. Uh, we're just going to use the first aid kit and go bammo. Blammo. Maybe you only get regen after you've killed everything on a floor? And if so, how, un how unfortunate for me because. Oh, whoa! Three potions? Holy beans. I just. Okay, well. That's the healing potion. It's good to know. And there's already the stairs to our next adventure. And this is somewhere I've already been. Or is it? Wait, yes? Okay. So we went full circle. That was a very, very lengthy place, my bob. Um, and here we are in the in the third floor. Man, I totally wanna I totally wanna edit Wolfenstein music in, um, but I'm not going to. So there's no more room in my inventory, which means I should per chance attempt to use some stuff. See, that's another reason you can Oh, it's a deadly monster rooster. The evil monster rooster. Wow, that thing is nasty, isn't it? Okay. So let's go ahead and upgrade. Well, I hope this is an altar of smithing again. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. All right. So now we got a plus three war hammer. I don't know if there's better weapons, but I guess I'm gambling that there isn't. All right. I need to be a little more careful about the way I'm just approaching these areas because it takes time to turn and because it takes... ah, great. Um, let's just drop you, pick you up. Okay, you're just... Haha, I have thrown that. That's great. Why? I should throw the dagger at some point. 
bite dead wait bad oh I'll throw you BAM that was damage right there and you died good well that was lucky um, oh that was also a where's the bat why is it trying to bite the door can it even do so is there any hope for the bat in order to just defeat its arch rival um, portcullis uh, it's, I think that's always a fountain of healing. We're going to test that at some point. Oh, there you are. Aha! Ha! Ha! Okay, throw, shoot, to kill! Alright, look at this. Strategy! It's a... use this. Ow! Oh, great. Acid. So that's acid, and there's a reason that we can throw. Let's equip you. Alright, wait. I have to specifically... Oh, defense. Okay, so that's that's what that is. I guess we'll try to use it for the time being, just to see if it's any good. Um, I've already been this way, and such. I'm hungry. Uh, which one's fruit juice? This is fruit juice. Use that. All right. Um, so I do need to be a little careful about where I'm moving here. I really do. Uh, did, did, yeah. Uh, this way, yes. I have not been in this entire direction. At oh, pff, monster rooster. Okay, so I can just completely block the damage. It seems like, if anything, I'm unlucky to block damage. All right, and I saw your shield seems okay. Ha! Huh, that's that's pretty hilarious. Um, so I wonder. Oh yeah, I'm so webbed. Um, I dude, come on. Not cool, dude. Not cool. There we go. Oh, great. Wait. I'd, okay, well, thank you for getting into vision. <laughs> I was going to take some damage otherwise. Oh, we got a leg of lamb, or a meat. Also known as a meat. So where's... I haven't seen anything about your shield is okay, so that's... Ooh, pit spikes. I don't like pit spikes. Pit spikes are poor for me. Oh, yeah, snakes. Oh, here's the poison. Oh, here's the poison. Okay, well, I'm not poisoned anymore. I thought that was going to be worse, but uh, it was not. And do I have to... Okay, well, I didn't actually get hurt by those spikes. I didn't... Okay, sure, why not? I'm just go... Bam, that smack a doodle do. Oh, I didn't really... Man, that's, this web is lasting a very long time. Okay. Uh, we're going to use the orange potion. Ooh, maximum li just, just all of them. Get them out of the inventory there. I picked up an acid. A acid. Excuse moi. It's probably already been fixed in the 1.1. <laughs> um, have we found the downstairs? I don't think we have. Man, I haven't even got close to that. So anyway, I've been playing this game for 13 minutes. I haven't even really started to talk about... Um, wait, this is a dead end? This is... Oh. Oh. That's a trap. Okay. I was curious, okay? I was just... Alright, but we do know about that potion. Uh, fountain of Healing. Theoretical, hypothetical Fountain of Healing. Bam! Fountain of Healing. Hypothesis confirmed. Alright, cool. So now we just go to this place, which is pretty much the last place, and therefore uh, is... Well, it's, n it's not the last place, I guess. <laughs> Whoops-a-daisy. Uh, I'm facing the wrong direction. There we go. Do, 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 um, where do we have to go? So I haven't really talked about the game, but in general, it seems. I mean, it seems like it's a okay and good. Yeah, right. Those don't do anything. Uh, in general, it seems like it's a pretty short game. Ah, great. Uh, so that is something to consider, uh, and it doesn't seem very difficult. Although I'm not sure I'm allowed to just say that without having played it even more. Um, but, oh, you know, I don't really want to descend just yet. Okay, there we go. We can reascend with folks and gentlemans. And the bats can... Ah, the bats can avoid the trap, which I just demonstrated. Uh, yes, so this is the game. Um, this is a cool game. Uh, I don't... I usually end up playing these things for a long time just because I'm so enthralled by... Whoa! Giant sand dune worm let's see if it makes sense to okay so I'm blocking most of the damage here so it makes sense and the boar worm can web me unless there's somebody behind me 
uh, the game doesn't, well, it doesn't look like there is. If there is, then it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to kill me. And it looks like monster roosters always drop meat. Maybe they do. Or have I been webbed this? Man, I guess when you get webbed, you just have to unweb yourself. That's, I guess if you want to say there's a tiny little flaw in the game, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the web probably lasts way too long. It should, it should be less that. So, and then we get it. okay. So we're webbed, and it doesn't I mean it doesn't last forever, but you know it's still what it is. Okay, potion of life. Give me that life potion. Thank you very much. Oh, a purple po. Have we used this yet? No. Ugh, figures. Would that even be good against other stuff? Um. So well, now I can just reuse this, and now we got a spear. Oh boy. Oh, it's it's defense and attack. Cool. All right, that's my favorite kind, the multi-classed weapon, the one that does the everything, but also, you know, well, yeah, the 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 jack, the jack of trades. Let's just heal that potion. Um, I don't remember what you do. You your fruit juice. Well, just drink you. So you can get filled in this game. I wasn't entirely sure about that. Um, I mean the warhammer man. Can I? Uh, yes, excellent. Look at that. Into attain, into attain. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. Uh, oh, pff, that's a lot of snakes. That's there we go. Ah, they're running away. We gotta actually be a little smart about our own combat skills. Um, normally, dungeon hack games have multiple characters, so that's one way you could change the game a bit. But I mean, given the way that the interface is currently, I'm not really sure that makes sense. Um, in fact, I'm not really sure how one would change, really, or add to the game. I'm going to guess that the 1.1 is mostly content and pa uh, bug fixes. Um, and I guess I'm not going to get time to play it, because otherwise I'd be spending a long time in the boring sections of everything. Uh, is, that, is that acid? That's a... Oh. I got a bread. Oh, boy. I got a okay. We don't know what yellow potions do yet, but I'm always I'm always fine for drinking them as long as there aren't potions of death. I'm usually good to go. Um, okay, and then we haven't explored here, which leads to a single rat. But I mean, as I said, there's really no room reason to carry. Ha! Huh, throw. Um, there's really no reason to fight stuff. It's more about finding the items. So <clears throat> once you find a good set, I assume the the best strategy at that point is to just dash for the the rogue's eye and get the heck out of there, or whatever. However, that needs to be done. <clears throat> Nor do I really know whether or not the I'm not really going to bother checking. Am I? Why is this Shay shield? <coughs> Excuse me, because. I mean, Okay, there we go. I don't know why that was showing it like that. Whatever. Oh, a super axe. What kind of damage does this guy do? Oh, so it's it's super damage, but it's also um, less defensive. It's also a pretty good throw. Man, this claw man is something. Oh, this claw man is something else. And he can block my attacks. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take a little. So in this game, I guess I've just learned the the un, the understanding of tactical strategies. Oh crap! Oh good. The the boarworm took damage, so that's good. Um, we're gonna drop you and pick you up, and then we'll eventually learn how much damage you deal or something. Where is the boarworm? The boarworm that sprung that evil trap. All right, so now we're going to fight you to the death until the death is dead. Oh, this is a big room. This makes me a little noivous. Anyway, uh, this is first-person perspective. I mean, it's dungeon hack, basically. But, it, you know, it has very simple elements, but they're simple elements that, that work awfully well. So um, am I going to survive this? All right, I did quite a bit, in fact. Yeah, the maximum life boost really helps. Is this? That's a full heal. Goodness, I did not think that was going to be so good. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll throw you. I don't think I need the shield anymore. Oh, I don't have the shield anymore. What? 
When when did I drop it? Did I th throw it? Man, I must I didn't pay attention to that at all. Um, okay, so now we know it's a plus one axe. Well, I'm liking it, so let's just go ahead and make it a plus two. I don't know if it what the modifier does if it increases both defense and attack and throw. So if everything is kind of a plus one or what. That would be nifty, and it would basically make the, the multi-classing weapons the best. <laughs> but, um... Because they get the most bonuses, basically. Oh, um... What is white? Oh, I don't even know. Great, poison. Yeah, that's, that's great. Well, man, that's a, that's a pretty nasty poison, even. So I know to use that against the Black Knight or whoever shows up. I guess... Uh, what floor are we on? We're on five. Uh... I, I have gone and played games for a long time, but I don't... I guess we could take this one to its course, and I could try to talk about the game more um, as it's as it's being played out. Um, so, I mean, we have a lot of really nice interface elements here. We have the compass, which tells us our sense of direction. We have our map, which tells us where we are here. Um, and we have little indicators that tell us various other pieces of the puzzle. And this is a potion of life. Why haven't I drinking it yet? This is a fruit juice. I should just pop that in my mouth. There we go. And apparently there was a crash. Uh, fixed occasional crash bug when moving between floors 6 and 7, even though I was on between 5 and 6, but whatever. Um, I guess we'll leave it at that, because, uh, you know, otherwise it would be another 20 minutes of me getting back there. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter, playing Rogue's Eye, and that's, that's a really nice one. Um, and yeah, the 1.1, as I'm reading it, is basically... J Man, I probably should have just played that one. Um, well, it says the whole game's been tweaked and rebalanced to make it more tactical, so... Yep, I guess that's the thing. It's, it would be harder than what I just showed you. So give it a try, because it'll be more fun, in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Rogue's Eye. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.